Hey everyone, Vintage Fan Collector here with another ceiling fan testing video. Today we have a 1994 Casablanca Delta II. This is um, in the white and brass finish, obviously, and snow white and polished brass. And uh, I got another one of these, and the funny thing is all three of my Delta IIs were, I got for free. So this one um, is from fan collector Brandon C. Johnson. I, most of y'all probably know him because it's the Facebook group, but if you don't, I'll link you to the channel in the description. His channel, he's got some cool stuff. But yeah, um, he sent this in for free, and I uh, got a switch cap K4B, and I put it on. And it looks really nice, I really like it. So yeah, I decided to test fans today because it's cloudy, so that means it's not going to be scorching hot in here. It's still humid, but hey. It's better than it being like 98 degrees and I'm in my garage where it's like 105 because insulation. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and demonstrate it starting with the light kit which is over here. So uh, this time with the spotlight kit I used proper light bulbs. <laughs> I went and got some a while ago and then finally got to use them. So we'll go ahead and start with low. This is my first Casablanca fan that actually does not say the model name on the tag. Um, I'm using a rib canopy because there was already a hang true there and I didn't want to have to take it down again for that. So I just switched it. It came with a post recall. You may notice, I don't know if you can, but you might notice the switch housing is a little bit bent. It's actually not really a little bit. It's bent more than my... Other oh, polished brass and white Delta II, but that's all right. Can't really complain. I got it for free. Besides, I still like it, and it'll probably get earn an install. I'll try to fix the switch housing at some point. Sorry about the cicadas; they're annoying. <sighs> now, as always, I'll include a five-blade demonstration video. This is also my first Casablanca that's pull chain that, has, well, it doesn't say Slumber 3 obviously, and it's the first one that has a different style of pull chain than the more modern one. I don't really count my Panama 2 that I had because that one was parted out. And I already feel the breeze. Alright, high speed. Yeah, it wobbles. I need to work on the electrical box, which I will. Don't worry. This has a K55 motor for those who are wondering. Um, all Casablancas started out or got the XLP and the Permalock system in 1997 when they moved production over to Taiwan after 1996. Hunter bought them, bought them out. So this is pre Hunter Blanca. Casablanca right here. <laughs> and in 2003 they introduced their goofball, I mean it's okay I guess, concealed hardware system which made the blade arms a little bit thicker and you didn't have the indentions on the bottom plate for the housing screws. Yeah, it was totally a full circle of no interruptions. I like that part of the design. But then again, at the same time, I kind of like how this looks. Hmm, looks like it has the same spin down as my other Delta II. Yeah.
for the five blade configuration. Starting with the light. Bump it up to medium now. for high school. I just want to note that everything except for a light kit, pull chains, and down rod ball, and canopy is all original. And of course the light switch for the light kit I have it on too, because um, it didn't come with one first off, but I just wanted to use the Four Seasons hang true, because it was already there, and then I wanted a light kit. And I really like this one, so I put it on there because I wanted to see how it looked. So, yeah. And just because I can, and I guess since this isn't IntelliTouch, it hasn't demonstrated it in demo mode, I'll do reverse very quickly. I'll let it get up to speed and then I'll change it.
Alright everybody, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoy my new acquisition. I have another one that I need to film, but uh, I'm not going to talk about it because it's kind of a little surprise, I suppose. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, thank you.